hello you guys i am back with another video i've been wanting to do this type of video since my first daughter was born and as an, an experienced mom there were some things that i bought for her four years ago that i regret buying for her because i didn't really see the use of it or it just would give me like a headache trying to like clean it or i just didn't find it so useful compared to other items that i found more useful giving me less of a headache and this is what i want to share with you guys because i feel like as first time moms we really don't know what items to choose and what to buy and what not to buy nobody really teaches us these things other than looking it up on youtube right so i wanted to just make a list of things that as a new first time mommy or as a second time mommy um i just really want to help mommies out there see and narrow down the differences between items that you instead of buying you should be buying so i'm gonna be breaking down a list of don'ts and do's so here on my right or your left whatever it is it's going to be the list of items that you should not buy that i bought by mistake i learned my lesson and you should instead buy this one it would be on this side of my arm and i'm going to put like pictures so you guys can see the difference between the two so these are don'ts and these are thumbs up so let's get started i also wanted to mention that i am currently pregnant again <laughs> so this is my second baby i'm not sure if you guys know, knew this probably not i am currently almost nine months pregnant any day now i'll be giving birth so i just found that this is the perfect time to share these items with you guys i made this list a long time ago but i just upgraded it just now with everything that i did buy rebuy for my new baby so let's get started okay so number one and number two on the list are shampoo and soaps so i did some research i guess on my own and i figured and i found out over time that fragrances and shampoos and soaps aren't the healthiest of things to put on our bodies especially for newborns they have sensitive skin so instead of buying a regular like Aveeno Johnson & Johnson shampoos I would opt more for the Honest company because it's just a little bit more cleaner I feel like it's a little bit more safe to put on the baby's bodies as well as Dr. Bronner's soap. So here is a picture of it. And here are pictures of the ones that I would not buy again. Only because of the ingredients. So number three and number four are... Well, I'm not really going to number this because I'm going to lose track of the numbers. But bath time. So I would recommend getting an inflatable bathtub such as this type of bathtub. And not getting like the hard ones. Um, you can still get them. They're not bad. But they outgrow them so quick. And I would also not opt in for like a trendy, like the sunflower one. Because it's just, for what? You're going to throw it out anyway. It's going to get all soggy. So I would recommend the inflatable ones. They're a little bit more practical. And during bath time, I used to buy my first daughter so many toys so she can play with in her bathtub. Um, such as like these little ones that would squirt water out. And yes, they're fun, but they get moldy inside. And then you just have to throw them out eventually. So I would rather opt in for rubber duckies that don't have any of those holes. So definitely be a little bit more simple less toy the less toys the better and the ones that don't have holes in them to squirt out water um i would just recommend getting rubber duckies with no openings in them the next thing is i want to talk about this is optional it's really up to you but for me i'm very picky when it comes to what goes into my child's system and tummy and what she puts in her mouth and 
in her body so when it comes to milk i would rather stick with breastfeeding as much as possible but i understand that some moms may not do it may not like it or just simply can't produce so you opt in for formula milk now with that it gets a little bit tricky in my point of view because there's lactose and then there's the powder milk and there's so many like cases that I don't, I don't know i just don't really trust the powdered milk so what i used to do is i used to make my daughter hemp seed milk mixed with oat milk and dates and it tasted really good she actually really did like it um i opted more for like the vegetarian type of milk instead of the dairy so with the non-dairy i used to literally like make it from scratch i used to blend it in the blender and boil the oats and then strain it with the cloth a straining cloth and it got so messy and i was just like oh my god this is a lot but i'm just gonna have to do it so now that we're in 2023 i did find that there are some uh, machines i'm gonna make a video on it soon because i got a machine right here i got this one from amazon and it really just makes non-dairy milk for you you can throw in some almonds in there you can throw in cashews nuts uh coconut flakes dates and it'll literally just blend it and make the milk for you without you having to strain anything all you have to do is clean it out and dump the residue in the garbage and that's just so amazing because i wish i had that four years ago maybe i didn't know about it so but now that i know about it i got it so instead of opting in for formula milk and straining it on by myself i'm opting for this machine and i'm just gonna keep doing what i do hemp seeds are so good for you and i'll probably maybe throw in some sea moss in there i don't know maybe i don't know um but this is going to be my alternative once i do choose to stop breastfeeding i'm gonna try the longest as i possibly can but it's not easy so this is gonna be my plan b this time the next topic i want to talk about is scented lotions and scented baby wipes so i would definitely not go for the scented baby lotions and the scented baby wipes only because like i said fragrance is an ing an ingredient that i cannot trust just because i've done my own research on it i i don't know what that means i don't know what the word fragrance means um therefore i would recommend using water wipes for your newborn baby and eventually going into the other brands without any scents so definitely stay with the unscented brands as well as the lotions i do not use lotions guys on your baby and on your toddlers i still don't use lotions on my toddler because of the word fragrance i just don't trust it i use coconut oil i used it for my newborn baby coconut oil or vaseline vaseline is a great alternative literally guys the oils like the essential oils are, are really good for our babies as well any type of oils are you know that come from mother earth are great as long as those are the types of scents that i would lean more towards the the fragrance oils definitely just don't get the drugstore lotions I, I don't know. I just can't really trust it. I would rather just use Vaseline or coconut oil. Another topic is an air purifier and a diffuser. When I first started looking into these things, when my daughter would get sick, when she needed like some good air and in the room, I didn't really know the difference between the two. So definitely get an air purifier. Um, it's good for the room. It cleans out all the dust in the room on a daily basis. And a diffuser doesn't really do that job. Um, an air purifier will. So definitely get yourself an air purifier. This is the one I have in the girls' rooms. And a diffuser, you don't really need it. It's just something to like give the room a scent. Um, it's optional, but that's not what that's for. Another topic I want to touch on, I know this is probably not easy for parents to you know really just try to get out of this habit but it's definitely the phone and the tablet 
giving it to our children and our toddlers at a really young age. Mind you, they already watch TV as well. So just trying to refrain them from giving them the phone all the time when they're fussy or giving them a t buying them a tablet. They, they will literally just glue their face to it. And that's not healthy for the baby. It's not healthy for your toddler. Um, I would recommend downloading, if you do have a tablet, having ABC Mouse on that and that's it. No other apps, no YouTube, no nothing. As a beginner, definitely a just ABC Mouse and that's it. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just like a simple program for kids. Not a simple, but it's an educational program for kids. At least it's educational before they start school and... Also just leaning more towards activities such as playing with toys and painting, drawing, instead of being glued to a phone. I know the kids get fussy when we're out and about sometimes and yeah, we just throw them the phone. However, don't keep them on the phone. Like take it away eventually once you get out of the supermarket or get out of the doctor's appointment. Like don't keep them with the phone. <laughs> take it away eventually yeah they're gonna cry but it's not good for them that's just my opinion toys activities over technology any day when it comes to diaper rashes i learned that many of the brands don't even work they don't do anything especially when the babies really have a really bad rash so these are some of the products that are in stores that people use that i use and they kind of didn't really do the job and this i use triple i ended up finding out about triple pace through a co-worker because my daughter had a really really bad rash and i was just asking everyone like what is the best solution and my co-worker mentioned triple pace so i looked it up it's a little bit expensive but it's so worth it especially if you have more than one kid um, triple paste will save you and it literally works overnight so going back to mom life when I was breastfeeding I literally would put like tissues in my boobs because of the leakage but tissues ain't gonna really do much for you so you might as well buy the reusable pads to put in your bra um, I would also recommend getting like the bras that unclip from here or the shirts, sometimes they come with like um, string tank top shirts that unclip and you can breastfeed, those are good. And also putting like the cups, there's these cups that you put on. So when you're leaking, it'll just leak into the cup and you can just toss it out or reuse it. Um, I guess for more hygienic purposes, I would just toss it out. Um, but yeah, it's better than napkins, definitely. Try to just keep it clean when it comes to breastfeeding. So no napkins, yes to cups and the, the the reusable pads that you can wash in the washer machine, as well as the haka. The haka is a really good investment uh, for when you are breastfeeding on one side, you can put the haka on the other side while it like leaks out. So that way your milk is not going to waste. Another thing on the list is, I, I guess, when it comes to cleaning and house cleaning, um, housekeeping items, um, I would refrain from using Windex and any of those harsh smelling um, wipes, like the Lysol wipes. I know it makes the house smell really clean and good, but it may not be good for the baby. Like when you're spraying it everywhere and cleaning, so I'd rather not get that and opt in for like the cleaner version of the Lysol wipes. They have a cleaner version that doesn't have any fragrance. I've been using that um, with my toddler as well. I, I'll wipe down like everything in her room with these wipes and they don't have any smell or scent to them. So that's, it makes me feel safer to wipe down her things, especially because she does have asthma. So it's just an alternative of switching out another thing i have on my list are plastic baby bottles versus glass baby bottles i would much rather use glass one because it's more hygienic easier to clean 
and just because i i feel safer knowing that it's really bpa free because it's not plastic um with plastic i just feel like it gets dirty like the smell of the milk just lingers on the plastic i don't really trust the bpa like the the plastic the microplastics in plastic i'd rather be on the safe side <laughs> basically so use glass bottles they're a little bit more expensive but they will last you longer they'll be it'll be cleaner to use easier to clean and much safer for your baby another item on the list are muslin blankets so i would recommend not getting the small muslin blankets like the really small ones and getting like the bigger ones only because babies grow so quick um i guess this goes hand in hand with clothes too i wouldn't get a newborn baby a whole lot of clothes and shoes they don't babies don't need shoes so don't don't get shoes for babies until they start walking trust me on this one you want to save money and use it on something more useful so just trying to refrain from buying so much of newborn to three months to six months you know just being a very minimalistic and getting bigger size things like the bigger muslin blankets they'll outgrow them so quickly and then you can start getting them shoes once they start walking for real like you know you can get the baby shoes like the soft ones to keep their toes warm for when they step out of the house yes but they don't need jordans guys until they start walking going back to them outgrowing many things don't really don't get them cute clothes like yeah maybe one or two to take nice pictures but they're not gonna really use it on unless it's like the holidays so don't buy your newborn and your babies nice clothes and i'm only saying this because i got gifts where my daughter would receive really really nice dresses and i never put them on her and i ended up giving them away brand new dresses because there was no event to go to there was no photo shoot like she would live in onesies so i would recommend instead of buying nice fancy clothes just buy onesies guys especially the the ones that have the zipper it's much easier to change their diaper and to change them into those instead of the button ones yeah you can still get the button ones but the zipper ones are a little bit more easier so refrain from getting all the cute stuff they're gonna outgrow them trust me they're gonna get rid of them you're probably gonna give them away unless you have like a photo shoot or a special event which they will only wear it once instead just get one when it comes to a jumper definitely get your baby a comfortable jumper where they can bounce on like the ones that you hang on the wall so i got this one and i hated it from amazon i hated it i had to return it my daughter it was just so weird i instead get something like this the more traditional one the more simple one it's more comfortable and your baby will have a blast in this one Aside from jumpers, walkers. I would recommend not getting any walkers unless they're outside in the backyard. Um, even that, my daughter would like toss over and flip over and get hurt. Kids don't really need walkers. You can literally just teach them to walk by holding their hands. You don't, they don't need walkers. Um, they'll just bump into everything in the house and they'll spit on them they'll get dirty with food <laughs> like there's really no need for them my daughter barely used hers and i heard it's not so great for them anyway i don't know the less the better guys the less you buy the better trust me so just my grandma actually um helped her walk she learned how to walk with my grandma and this was just my grandma holding her hand with like a a string or something no walker another no-no on my list would be a bassinet my daughter literally used the bassinet for three months and that's it so waste of money waste of space three months go buy it like that instead get them a crib definitely get them a crib um or even a playpen i would recommend getting like the whole set of the playpen 
um the three in one i think it's called like where you put the baby on top and then it's a playpen at the bottom and they outgrow it cribs yeah you can get them a crib but in my personal opinion the crib is just such a hard surface that my daughter would like hit herself sometimes against the crib so i would much rather go for a playpen because it has that soft mesh material but it's really up to you if you want to get a crib go ahead just don't get a bassinet it's a waste of money the next thing is a changing table i know that there's like these trendy changing tables that people are getting they're so expensive guys no need for that just get your newborn the regular inexpensive uh changing tables that go on top of the dresser and you can literally just switch out the what's it called the covers and you can put a cover on top of it as well i'll put it right here the ones i got it's inexpensive it's more soft it's more comfortable for the baby instead of the fancy ones you don't need all that it's super expensive too anyway so this is the type of changing table that i got the next item on my list guys definitely this is a must not do not get these type of mats for the floor the ones with the letters and the puzzles and the numbers aren't uh, they're gonna get dirty you're gonna lose the parts you have to always clean it oh my god it was su it was such a waste like i would literally be always cleaning it and putting it together my baby would always like rip rip it apart it would be a hot mess it would get dirty with food it was just bad instead get these type of folding mats where you literally can just wipe it all together on the surface with the the fragrance free lysol wipes and it'll be as clean as new they will not destroy them and also get like the you can also get the the folding like the laying down baby mats the tummy time ones you can put them on top of this one so you'll have like your surface level and then the these little mats on top so it's just all one instead of these puzzles i gave it away it was such a waste don't get this guys it'll give you guys the next item on my list goes for babies who have teeth already and your toddler so i know that there's many like back and forth on toothpaste and fluoride i think and i feel like fluoride is not that good for you um therefore i used to brush my baby's teeth my like when her teeth first started coming out instead of using toothpaste because she would sw probably swallow it i never used it i used coconut oil and i know that's kind of weird but i would much rather her swallow coconut oil um than toothpaste so i would use coconut oil and brush her teeth with it just like her little teeth that would come out and eventually as she got older and became a toddler and comprehended a little bit better on not to swallow i definitely get her fluoride free toothpaste she does not swallow it but i always make sure it's fluoride free i never get the ones with the fluoride this is just my personal opinion i would i would never get her the fluoride ones as she gets older i'm gonna try to stick to my guns and these are the type of brands that i would recommend another opinion in my list is you know how we like love to take pictures of our kids <laughs> and they're all in our phone so i always did not like the idea of my pictures just sitting in my phone one because i would run out of space there's tons of pictures of our kids in there right <clears throat> and two in case i lost my phone or in case the icloud didn't back up i would lose those pictures so i said to myself you know what instead of keeping these pictures in my phone let me print them and make a picture book for my daughter of her young self and i would literally go to shutterfly.com and choose all the pictures that i wanted to print and literally like i paid like 30 bucks to get a lot of pictures and they come in the mail 
I got a scrapbook, a picture book, and I started putting all her pictures since she was born. And I still have them. So now I got to delete all those pictures from my phone. I have new pictures in my phone that I have to reprint again. So that way I can put them in her picture book again and they will never get lost because I physically have them in her picture book and it's just, just such a cute thing to give to your kids for when they do grow up they'll see themselves like wow I have pictures of myself and they're not in a phone um technology guys it just keeps upgrading so we never know the next thing on my list is a baby carrier the one that goes on your chest I'm not against it but when I did have it and when my baby was a, a little baby, when I put her on my chest with the straps and everything, I found that her legs were so chubby that they were so uncomfortable. Like the way her legs were positioned around me with the carrier, it was just kind of uncomfortable for her. It wasn't the most comfortable for her. So instead of getting these type of um chest holders i would r much rather get the chest wraps especially for a newborn so yeah this is just my opinion now i'm just gonna stick to these type of wraps just because they're a little bit more seamless on the body next thing on the list is unnecessary items we don't need to be getting the zero to three months three to six Ugh. i know it's like an organizational thing but they're going to grow so quick, you're not going to need those labels anymore. So just get hangers, the velvet hangers, or the little organizers for the drawers, the little boxes, and put their clothes in there. And just, you're not going to lose track of, you're going to see the, <laughs> the months on the clothes anyway. Just organize it to a way where you can visually see like, okay, this side is zero to six months and this side is six to 12 months um instead of getting all those like organizers you don't need that guys it's over thinking it over spending for what for nothing the next thing on the list is regular sunblock and bug spray like for adults and kids <clears throat> these are the types that are in the drugstore but i would not recommend putting that on a newborn baby because of their skin is so sensitive i would recommend <clears throat> these products more so they're more targeted for sensitive skin and baby skin i want to talk about baby food so with baby food i would highly highly recommend trying to make it yourself at home when it comes to like the veggies and the carrots and the meats and ev and the rice like everything mushed um only because you only you know the ingredients that you put in your foods when you cook it compared to like the store brands like i just don't really trust it but if you don't have an alternative and if you don't have enough time to make it i would try my best to make it at home however if you don't have a lot of you know time because not a lot of us have enough time as parents and working parents um then definitely get the organic type um these are just some of the brands that i would recommend compared to just the regular the regular brands um i just don't trust it i'm not sure why <laughs> but once again just trying our best as parents to give our our babies the best quality types of foods for when they start weaning and speaking about food when my baby when my toddler was a baby from zero to three i did not give her pork or red meats or shellfish she still doesn't eat like shellfish uh, she'll eat fish but I only only stuck to chicken and fish um when she was around one two only because I feel like especially as a female baby um us females we don't really it's not easy for the body to process red meat anyway in general um, maybe males are maybe designed a little bit differently than the female body, but that's just my opinion. Especially as a baby girl, I just never, never gave her red meat. I just started giving her now, but in moderation. So 
definitely try to stay away from that and stick more to with fruits and veggies for when they're babies and toddlers growing up from zero to three because fruits and veggies are the most essential thing that your children can eat um and, po and popsicles you can even make them popsicles M milkshakes i always made my daughter milkshakes and she loved it she doesn't like it anymore now she's getting picky but when she was a baby she would eat the milk drink the milkshakes with the fruits and that was just i love that i would make her like even throw in like a cucumber in there like just throw in some stuff in there like sneak it in and try your best to give them the veggies as well because when they're babies they'll eat it all so i'm pretty much done with the list of do's and don'ts so now i just want to mention some items that are a must so and this is just my opinion because i found it to be really useful so these are some items that are a must the number one thing on my list is a bobby pillow this is really really useful it comes in handy i still have it from when my daughter was born she's now four and i still have it i actually like put my head to sleep on this sometimes and this is so useful because when you're breastfeeding or feeding in general you literally just put it around you and your baby your newborn baby lays on it and also as they grow they will sit on it so they can lay on it sit on it and it's just a comfortable headrest and then eventually when they get older they'll just hang out on it they'll lay the, my toddler lays her head on it sometimes so it's really useful even for adults the second thing on my list is a wiper warmer so here is a picture of the one i recently got and it literally just warms up the baby wipes especially now that it's winter time or if you live in, like in a cold region this is a must because you don't want to put like really cold wipes on your baby because it's going to make them like cold. Um, and I feel bad doing that. So a wiper warmer for your baby. And if you live in a hot area, this you don't need this. As well as a diaper trash can. This is a must because those diapers will stink up the kitchen and the room wherever you throw out the diapers. Um, you don't want to constantly be wrapping them in plastic bags it's just too much so definitely invest in a good uh tr diaper trash can this is the one i recently got it's automatic the first one i got was not automatic so i'm kind of glad that this is an upgrade from the first one that i got this is a the whale water rinser i'll put a picture over here um it's to rinse basically the head of the baby or if you don't have like by the sink or by the bathroom tub if you don't have like a spray the little spray hoses for the body or the hair if you don't have that then this will come in handy or using one of those like bath toys that come with the little spray i'll put a picture of it here it, it will just really come in handy so you don't have to like figure out how to rinse their head without wetting their whole face um and rinsing like their body so it just comes in handy the next thing on the list is definitely a bottle warmer this is the one i recently got it's plugged in um you plug it into the outlet and i would recommend that if you're taking a long trip or if you're out going somewhere and it's really really cold outside and you need to warm up the bottle take your bottle warmer with you because i had an incident where my baby needed to drink her milk and the milk was so cold because it was cold outside that I had to figure out how to warm it up. And I literally had to go into a restaurant and ask for hot water so I can put the baby bottles milk in there to warm up. It was I was it was a hot mess um, and the baby was fussing. So definitely take the baby bottle warmer with you in the car to plug it in in the car if you have one of those plugs in the back seats if you don't then sorry <laughs> the next item i would highly recommend is getting a mirror a rear view mirror for the car if you have a car um for the car seat so because the baby's facing back um you can't really see him or her so if you're driving to a doctor's appointment or whatnot 
and you're alone with the baby and you can't see them definitely that mirror is good um because you can always see them through your rear view mirror the next thing on my list is a plug outlet covers and the cabinet door blockers um i'm gonna put like both of them here so you guys can see so the plug outlet covers it's for safety reasons um babies like to stick their fingers in there so definitely cover up those outlets around the house and um as well as the door blockers so my daughter my toddler was able to comprehend like you don't open that you can't even open it so she always would make sure like to close it back up um and it's just so that way your baby doesn't make a mess or open up any cabinets in the kitchen or in the room um that way they're not taking things out and you're not getting a headache with having to clean it up so it's definitely for safety reasons also yeah it's for safety because what if there's something sharp in there or what if there's like a cleaning product in there that they'll put in their mouth so definitely baby proofing the house as well as corner edges just making sure everything is okay like there's no sharp edges around the house and if there are then definitely get those covers as well as stove knob covers so my daughter she would start turning the knobs on the stove and it can that's really dangerous because the gas can leak if you don't if you aren't aware that your kid is doing that so definitely getting stove knob covers here's another picture of it um i have mines already ready to go for when the baby starts growing up starts such touching things um with safety things the, the playpen is the best way to put your baby and your toddler in there while you're doing things around the house like cooking or cleaning only because it'll keep your mind at peace knowing that they're safe in their little playpen and they can't get out or getting a gate um one of those like gates so they don't get out of whatever room that you decide to put them in whether it's the living room or a bedroom and it'll just like gate keep them keep them safe from whatever it is that you're doing at the time and then once you finish you can then open it and play with your kid another safety item on my list is a baby camera i have two of them so here are the two that i got and it's so important to just watch your kid and your baby while they're um sleeping in like the crib or in the room just watching being able to have that access to watch them no matter the day and time um if you're a working parent and if you're at the office and you have a sitter having that camera on at all times literally gives you peace of mind too you can literally just watch it from your phone and you can even speak you can hear you can speak through it if you choose to and it has like a day day and night light so you can see at any given time of the day as well as when they're sleeping if you're if you're co-sleeping or not co-sleeping this is a good alternative to keep an eye out definitely always just keep an, an eye out on the baby a high chair is definitely a must um i would recommend also investing in a portable high chair this is one of them or if you're always at like your grandparents house or your parents house somewhere where you're always going make sure you get them a portable high chair to have in their house and then you can have your own high chair in your house so that way you're not carrying things around every time you head over to the family's house um that way they already have it for the baby it's already there their chair the baby's chair is there um and it's like i said maybe getting one main high chair in your house and then getting a second one a portable high chair for someone else's house if you're constantly always going over there another thing that's a must on my list that i'm i still use to this day is uh the that the bags the plastic big plastic bags for storage with the vacuum suction so you they can compress for you to store um clothes so babies and kids grow pretty quick so you're gonna be storing or regifting or giving or donating clothes if you wish to do so 
or keeping them for your next baby and you want to store them and you want to put them somewhere it's going to become a clutter of clothes so getting the vacuum compressing bags these are the ones that i got i i just don't remember the exact brand but these are similar to them will definitely save you space and you can just organize it that way another must have item on my list i know this is a lot guys but these are the must like most simplest things to get this is everything that you need i'm not adding more and i'm not taking away anything this is the box dividers for the drawers so kids have just like us socks underwear um little things little hats everything needs to be organized or else it's going to be a hot mess <clears throat> so getting these boxes will help you organize in the little ones you can put the little items in there such as like the gloves and the socks and then in the bigger ones you can put like the onesies and just organizing your drawers is the best thing you can do for yourself the last thing on my list are window car like shades for the car um if you have a car so in the passenger back seats the babies will be back there in their car seats and sometimes the sun like hits them especially in the summertime um when they're sleeping like the sun will really really shine bright on their eyes or on their face while they're sleeping and they may feel uncomfortable so you want to make your baby as most comfortable as possible so they're not fussing or crying or waking up so investing in these blinds will give them will give you and the baby a peace of mind for when they fall asleep so here's an example of them you literally just attach them on the windows make sure you lock the rear seats uh child proof locks and that the windows are locked so they're not opening and closing so this is a must because trust me even my toddler is like the sun so this is a good investment one last and final thing I wanted to say, something that you don't need. Like I mentioned, you don't need a bassinet because I used it only for three months. You don't need a lot of toys, guys. Um, I've given away so many toys and it, I'm, I feel really blessed just by being able to give and provide and having people give me so many toys for my daughter. But... At the end of the day, we end up giving half of them away because it's just so much. Um, it, it turns into a big clutter and they outgrow them. So try to be a little bit more simple with the toys. I know it's hard, but try to declutter as much as possible. When they're babies, they're going to have baby toys. And then when they get a, a little bit older, like one or two, then they're going to have newer toys. And then they're going to let go of the baby stuff. So just know that in the back of your head that they're gonna let these things go and same thing with clothes they're gonna you're you're gonna buy them a lot of clothes however they don't need that much and it's better off if you receive as gifts um than you buying all these things what they really need are essentials and these are the list of items that i provided for you in this video these are the essentials the must-haves there's nothing else on here that I would add or take away. Um, in regards to like the the jumpy, like the bouncy chairs and all that, they really don't need that. Um, the And the bouncy, like, and the walkers, they don't need that because they grow so quick that they're literally going to use them for a little bit and that's it. You don't want to get so many, buy so much items that then you don't know what to do with all of it. Um, as an babies just like need a lot anyway so the less the better and i really hope that this video helped mommies out there figure out what to get for their children in regards to strollers i'm not even gonna say my opinion on that because i've gone through several <laughs> strollers my first one broke my second one i don't even know then my grandparents got them another one i think i gave it away and now I have another one. If you don't have a car, invest in a good in a good stroller because you're gonna walk a lot. If you do have a car, invest in a good stroller that um has the car seat and that you can put the, like the car seat in the stroller. And or 
get the car seed that they grow into it as a toddler so that was one of my mistakes <laughs> i got my baby a baby car seat that did not grow into a toddler so i had to put that car seat away and buy another car seat so definitely get the car seats that they grow into it'll just save you time and money but um it depends if it's compatible with the stroller so that's another topic that i'm not really going to touch on because to each their own with the strollers to each their taste their lifestyle and I really hope that this helped everyone out there. These are my must-haves and do's and don'ts of what not to get and what to get for your baby, your firstborn baby or second. I hope you really enjoy this video and I shall be giving birth soon. Bye guys.